As COVID-19 cases continue to decline, Bahamas Christian Council President Bishop Dalton Fernandez says he believes the government needs to take a closer look at relaxing restrictions on churches. The Christian Council chief says he has been in constant contact with Ministry of Health officials, and based on that dialogue, he suspects the government will make an announcement soon about relaxing the restrictions. We have been in communication uh, with the same. And we're only waiting for that response, and I believe that the state is minded. I don't want to speak for them, but I believe by the end of this week, we should hear something, uh, if not from me, uh, but from the uh, Minister of Health and his department. Um, because of the positive change, we could now move away from the 25%. In December and for much of January, the Bahamas experienced the worst wave of the pandemic, with hundreds of cases being reported a day. In response to the rapid rise in cases, Prime Minister Philip Ray Davis announced a series of new measures to mitigate the spread of the virus. Churches were once again under strict restrictions that included limiting church services to one hour and only allowing 25% occupancy. Churches provide an essential role in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. The programs that are now being asked of uh, the church requires more capacity to be made available. And if those capacities can be available safely, not only for worship, but us to do the social intervention that we do, we're going to need churches to be those kind of places where we could have people come in to receive what they're used to receiving in terms of social assistance. When it comes to removing restrictions for indoor funerals and weddings, which are both limited to 33% occupancy, Fernander said this. Well, we are going to work through that. I think what we'd like to see is maybe a few months, I think is maybe two months is the number you look for for the R to be reduced. And if it's holding for two months, uh, in January we were considering another number and removing some restrictions. I think we can honestly come to the table and, and negotiate that again if the rate stays the same for another two months. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.